Welcome everyone. So today we are going to solve a very nice indices problem, which is nine raised to x plus nine raised to x plus nine three raised to x is equals to one. Okay. So in this case, we'll do the first step, which is very obvious. We have two same terms, so we'll add them. So we have two times nine raised to x plus three raised to x equals to one. Now, if you close, if you look closely, three square gets you nine. Right, so therefore I can say nine raised to x is nothing but what three raised to two, the whole raised to x, and using the law of indices, you can write this as nothing but what three raised to two times x, right? Because the indices will get multiplied in this scenario, so you will write this as nothing but what three two into three times three raised to two x plus three raised to x equals to one, right? Then what you should do next is let let three raised to x equals to a. So this will now look like two times three raised to x is a. So this two power will continue. So we'll have a square plus a equals to one. And this looks like a quadratic. Okay. So let's look at it this way: two a square plus a. Then I'll shift the plus one to this this side of the equal to. You'll get a minus one. This is equals to zero. Now understand. In order to solve any quadratic, you need your this coefficient of a square term should be one. But in this case, since it's not one, so what we'll do is we'll multiply two to the constant. So two into minus one gets you minus two. So you are trying to find the factor for minus two in such a way that you get a plus one over here. So we'll do minus sorry plus two into minus one. Okay. That will get you a plus one. Okay, so we have two a square plus two a minus a minus one equals to zero. Two a common, so you will have two a plus one minus one common. You will have a plus one. Sorry, here you will have just a. Okay, so here now next what happens is we'll say two a minus one. Or we have the other factor, which is a plus one, is equals to zero. Therefore, I can say that a equals to minus one, or I can say a equals to plus half. Right now, please understand. I can't have a equals to minus one as my answer. Why? Because if you remember, first what we had done is three raised to x was taken as a. Okay, so in that case, what we can do is If I do three raised to x equals to minus one, using the law of logarithms, this doesn't work. Okay, log of a negative number we can't find, so this is absolutely gone. So next, what value we could found is what a equals to half. So here in this case, we'll say a equals to half. So three raised to x equals to half. Okay, this is one upon two. Taking log on both sides, what we'll get is log of Three raised to x equals to log of half. Okay, so then we'll have x log three equals to log half one upon two. Then we have just value of x as nothing but what log one upon two divided by log three, which and can also be written as what log of one upon two to the base three. both of these answers are absolutely correct for this particular question that's it for today i will see you in the next video